Dividing Fractions Proof. Hello and welcome to Maths Whenever. In this video we are going to look at the rule for dividing fractions. When we are taught how to divide fractions we are taught the keep change flip rule. What does this mean? We will generalise this by using letters to represent the four numbers of the two fractions we will be dividing. If we have the following division A divided by B divided by C divided by D, it means we keep the first fraction the same, we change the division sign into a multiplication sign and then we flip the second fraction. If we do this we get the following A divided by B multiplied by D divided by C. We have now turned our original division problem into a multiplication problem. Now multiplying two fractions is easy. It's simply a times d divided by b times c. Okay, so why does this rule work? To answer this, we need to know four simple fraction rules. The first fraction rule we need to know is that a division of two fractions can be written as a complex fraction. That is a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are both fractions. So a divided by b divided by c divided by d can be written as a complex fraction where the numerator and denominator are fractions. This means that a divided by b is the numerator of the complex fraction and c divided by d is the denominator of the complex fraction. The second fraction rule we need to know is any fraction multiplied by its reciprocal always equals 1. That is... A divided by B multiplied by B divided by A always equals 1. For example, 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 equals 2 times 3 divided by 3 times 2 which equals 6 divided by 6 which equals 1. The third fraction rule we need to know is that when the fractions numerator and denominator are both multiplied by the same value, including a fraction, the resulting fraction is equal to the original fraction. For example, if we have two thirds and we multiply the numerator two by four and the denominator three by four, we get eight divided by 12 and eight divided by 12 is equal to two thirds. The fourth fraction rule that we need to know is any number divided by one always equals itself. In other words, a divided by 1 equals a. For example, 2 divided by 1 is 2. 30 divided by 1 is 30. 100 divided by 1 is 100, and so on. With these fraction rules, we can now begin the proof. We first begin by writing the division of the fractions as a complex fraction. That is, a fraction where the numerator and denominator are both fractions. We now multiply the numerator and the denominator by the reciprocal of the denominator. That is, we multiply a divided by b by d divided by c, and we multiply c divided by d also by d divided by c. Now this is beginning to look really complicated. However, notice that the denominator c divided by d multiplied by d divided by c equals 1. Finally, recall that any quantity divided by 1 is itself. So we now have a divided by b divided by c divided by d equals a divided by b times d divided by c. And there we have it. A fraction divided by another fraction is equivalent to multiplying the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Thanks for watching Maths Whenever. See you next time. Bye.